My name is Hassan, and today we will be investigating a robbery that took place when the victim, Mr. Giraffe, found his bananas gone when he came to eat lunch. He is sure that one of these four suspects took them. Baby Bear, Cool Lava, Mr. Bear, or Lady Alpaca. Hair was left at the crime scene and was immediately taken in as evidence and was amplified via PCR, which gave us two distinct VNTR loci. VNTR is beneficial because it helps us easily distinguish between the individuals in question. The DNA was run on separate gels to give us these results, which will help us find the suspect that sold the bananas. Here, we must compare the DNA fingerprint of the evidence to the DNA fingerprint of our subject. In order to be guilty, the subject sample DNA fingerprint must match the fingerprint of the evidence found at the crime scene at both loci. If an individual has a match at one loci, but not the other, we can automatically rule them out of the investigation. Before looking for our perpetrator, we can observe that Mr. Bear is the biological parent of Baby Bear because in each of the loci, they have at least one band or allele in common. Looking at Locus 1, we can see that Mr. Giraffe's fingerprint only matches one band with the evidence, ruling him out. Mr. Bear is a match for both bands or alleles in Locus 1, which makes him a possible perpetrator for now. Baby Bear is innocent because only one of his bands matches that of the DNA fingerprint of the evidence. Lady Alpaca's fingerprint does not match the fingerprint of the evidence at all, so she is innocent. Cool Llama's DNA fingerprint matches that of the evidence left at the crime scene for both bands, making him another possible perpetrator. Moving on to Locus 2, Mr. Giraffe once again only matches one allele with the DNA fingerprints of the evidence. Mr. Bear does not match the DNA fingerprint in Locus 2, and although he was a match in Locus 1, we can now rule him out because in order to be guilty, the suspect must match the DNA fingerprint of the evidence at both loci. Baby Bear was also already ruled out of the investigation at Locus 1, and we can once again see that he does not match the bands of the DNA fingerprint of the evidence. In this locus, the Lady Alpaca seems to match the DNA fingerprint of the evidence. However, because she was not a match at Locus 1, she is already ruled out and is not the suspect we are looking for, leaving us with suspect 4, Cool Llama. Cool Llama matches the DNA fingerprint here in Locus 2 as well as Locus 1, making him the suspect that sold the bananas and therefore guilty.